Wait, can be a really challenge. I hear you. I'm out there with you. I'm on TV every day with you as well. Uh, but our next guest will give you motivation you might just need. Our Dr. Steve Salvatore is here with everything you need to doctor. know. Hey, good morning, Suki. That's right, it's all about motivation, and we all struggle. Well, Jennifer Compliment Hutt is the host of Whatever with Jennifer Hutt on Sirius XM Radio. She's also the co-author of Whatever Land with Martha Stewart's daughter, Alexis Stewart. Now, after Jennifer's mom lost her battle with cancer three years ago, she decided she was going to live a healthier life, and now she's helping motivate her listeners to do the same thing. Jennifer, good, good to see you. Good morning. Thank you for having me. All right, so let's talk about it. You mm -hmm. lost 70, 70. Yes. Pounds. That's I almost did. a whole other person. Yeah, it's a small child. Right. Mm -hmm. What was that like for you? Well, it was a day at a time. I think when I started, I had little goals. So I, initially, it was I just didn't want to be obese. And then as it sort of built upon itself, I got to a healthy weight, which is great. Right. So, so what? When you were your biggest, yeah. how, how heavy were you? And what was oh, your God. secret? Oh God, it was really, fat? it was horrible. It was, it was bad. I was close to that 200 pound threshold. Really? I didn't cross over. But I was way too close for comfort. Okay, yeah, there's a picture of you there. So, how tall are you? Oh, five two. Right, so five two and almost two hundred yeah, pounds. Yeah, we're talking not about. Not good. All right, so so what was it about losing your mom that made you live a healthier lifestyle? Because so many people, when mm -hmm. they're faced with adversity like that, right. you know, they go into a depression, they eat more, and they right. gain more weight. Well, essentially, what had happened was I had gained weight during mm -hmm. my mom's illness. I took care of her. She had pancreatic cancer, mm -hmm. and then when she passed away. It was, first of all, she, died, she was 65 years old, so that was a big shock to me to lose my mother at that age. And now so we're supposed to live yeah. a long time. And I sort of looked at my life, and I looked at my fat elbows, because in the <laughs> mirror, like, behind, right. I had big fit. And, and I thought, well, now's the time. I was 39 years old, and cancer loves fat. So it was like there were so many reasons why I had to lose weight. I didn't want to die. Right. I don't think people really understand that. And that's what Suki was just saying, mm -hmm. and she just read that report. Cancer and fat do go together. Yeah. All right, so you're a mother of two. I am. Right. How do you get your kids to eat healthy? That's what parents want to know right. at home because they're fighting that every day. So I starve them. You starve them. Yeah, well, no, I, I found that's effective too. Yeah, because this way yeah. they're really hungry and they'll eat whatever I you put on the table. I don't starve my children. <laughs> but they've seen my struggle and they see their dad, my husband. We both work really hard to be healthy because it's a day at a time. I mean, you know, if you've been fat and you lose weight, your body wants to be fat. So I have to be hyper vigilant about how I take care of myself. So by example, they see that and they see that I calorie count and they see that I make choices. We have sweets in the house. Sometimes I eat cake well, you have for to, dinner. But that's normal. But I mean, yeah, that's the whole point. It's a balance. I mean, you're a role model, mm -hmm. and at the same time, though, you're not restricting things so you don't feel like you're not getting right. things. It's understanding the balance. It's perfect. You have a web series called Tales from the <laughs> Treadmill. Yes, Tell me so about that. This is great for, for people. It's yeah, hilarious. So, what I, so my website is justjenny.com. What I do is I'll be on the, I go on the treadmill a lot. So I like to spend an hour are. on the treadmill as often as I possibly can. And I answer listeners' questions from my treadmill. So it just keeps me on there longer, and it motivates people. Some people will watch it and get on the treadmill, yeah, too. I think it's a great <laughs> idea. All right, so I want to get to the book, Whatever yeah. Land, because mm -hmm. there's some controversy about that. There is a little. What's your opinion on it? I think it's ridiculous. I mean, some people are saying that it's a tell-all book about Martha, mm -hmm. about Martha Stewart, because my co-author is Alexis Stewart. But yeah, She really said some it's controversial just, things. She just talked about growing up with her mom, right. which we've all grown up with our moms, and everybody has some dysfunction and some something, and we just both talked about our own issues in the book. Right, so it, it, it's really an interesting read, and I think Thank it is you. interesting because, like you said, everybody's had a mom experience. Of course. So it's kind of very relatable. Jennifer, thanks so much for coming. Thank you really for having it. me. So see, Suki, it. it does work. Exercise, no, no, I like that. Diet, right? Her book, Whatever Land, Learning to Live Here, is available now. And don't forget to tune in this Sunday evening, 6.30 p.m., for an all-new episode of The Dr. Steve Show right here on Pix 11. There Listen, go, I'm a huge fan. I just want to know what Alexis thought. I mean, what was it like sitting next to a skinny person every day? You know, yeah. you know she's, she's pretty obsessive, her mom. You know, they're pretty perfect. Did she ever say anything to you out of curiosity? What, about being fat? Yeah. I mean, I... You know, because your best friends, no. you talk about everything. I would know. What was she, she going to say? It wasn't like I didn't know I was fat. Yeah. But she she looked at her elbows in the mirror. She That's knew. so funny. Yeah. Elbows. Fat elbows. That's, That's the first yeah. time I've ever yeah. seen her. Oh, so you're going to get me on the treadmill today, and I'm going to, yeah. like, you know, get on there. And I'm, I swear, I'm, I am. And by the way, your elbows look fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Look at those. You like them now? Pointy <laughs> elbows. Congrats. Looking great. Thanks.